Hey guys, just to give you some context, this was uh, a woodwork museum that we went to in Japan, uh, in Kobe, and yeah, it's all about that and all about the history and, and stuff. So, um, so yeah, it will just follow through and what they did and how they did it, and yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, I really like it. It's only a short, short clips, but then she explains it and she, she does really well on that, so have a nice day. I'll see you. Huh? See you in the end of the video. <laughs> and I, I always said that uh, Japanese wood is a blessing because it is soft. It's so much softer, so it is easy to process, unlike the European ones. And that's why also we can pull, you see, when we cut. Mm -hmm. uh, we can control our weight better, you see, so we can well have a better work done. So, the number of tools used to build that building. Wow. And that is our number one world heritage record. What, what are you In Nara. In Nara. That's Nara. the big temple. So, the big temple. That, the that, Holy Uji Temple. And it is not connected to any of the sites. That's why it doesn't fall in an earthquake, you see. Wow. When it shakes, the roofs balance itself, absorbs the shake. But how, how long do it how take? Long, oh, it takes years. Yes. You, you notice that it's because in those days we don't have machinery, mm. all hand tools. Mm -hmm. Falling the tree from the mountain and bringing it down is already wow. a lot of time. Yeah. Wow. So it takes I two, that. I think it takes more than two generations to build it. Oh my goodness. So it, Ponder, so then, then, first of all, they have to fall the tree. Afterwards, you can see from outside to bring the tree down from the mountain. Once they can get the tree down, is half the work done. You see, mm -hmm. that is the most difficult part. We started trading with Korea, and then they have iron materials. So we started making our iron tools with their materials. Then after that, we have our own iron materials, and we can make very good tools. The Japanese tools, the iron tools are more famous, isn't it? Mm. Mm. You remove the corners. So, four corners into eight, and then into 16, and into 32, and so on, and then you get a round this one. Mm. So, for a, a round timber this size, it has to be that trick. Mm. This is a good round. This crack. Mm. Because it has a core here. You see. Uh, the wood is living, so it dries by and by. So and side dries faster, so it breaks like that, so it cracks up. So. But this piece doesn't crack. Why? Look at it. So it hasn't got a core. Mm -hmm. so, to get a piece of wood without a core, imagine the size the wood has to be, yeah. the tree. That means you take it from somewhere here, you see, away from the core. Mm -hmm. And that size, that means the tree has to be that big. A few hundreds of years old. Don't buy just the wood, buy the mountain. In other words, if you buy the whole mountain, they grow up in the same environment. So even if I build the house, they still remain the same environment, so they can get on well together. <laughs> That's what he said. This is the only tool he can show his skill. And they always try to make uh, these auspicious objects, the turtle. Mm -hmm. The tortoise, this means longevity, and then the prawn also. Mm -hmm. The prawn means you live until you bend double. Oh, serious? Wow. See, it's bent like that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A good old age. His tool. He made his tool only for the very best carpenters. Uh, very juicy and very stubborn. <laughs> every, every good, yeah, every good. It's stubborn, yeah? yeah. <laughs> stubborn, very stubborn. There's a story about that also. He and a very good carpenter, Edo Kuma, you see. This Edo Kuma, Kuma means a bear, you see. The Edo bear, that means you can imagine his temper also, a bear. <laughs> this Jyotiru to make a special chisel for him. But he refused. He didn't know that. So, so he went to back him, back him for so many times. Still refused. So in the end, he pawned his toolbox just to back him to do that. So he was touched by that. So he decided to make it for him. 
and the price. In those days, one day's work is 50 cent. Mm. Oh. And the chisel cost him 150 yen. That means uh, plus another two circles. Wow. Very, very expensive. So 15,000 yen. But uh, he was so touched by him and found out that he was that good, so much so that when his son started to make his own tool, he asked this carpenter to have the first try. Mm -hmm. See, that means a very honoured thing, you see, mm -hmm. to be able to have a first try. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. this man, has a, the son died very young, you see, so mm -hmm. he hasn't got an apprentice to take over. Mm -hmm. Only somebody else, with some other apprentice, was given one of his name, this one. This is his work, and this one. And the, the chisel, the Japanese chisel, you look at the back here. Oh, that is so... Wow. You notice the surface, there's a, a convex, you see, a dent. That means the sides fit the surface very well, it won't wobble. This one, like this, so, typical tool. In the end, he pawned his toolbox just to back him to do that. So he was touched by that, so he decided to make it for him. In those days, one day's work is 50 cent. Mm. Oh. And the chisel cost him 150 yen. That means uh, plus another two circles. Wow. Very, very expensive. The surface. Mm. There's a, a convex, you see, a dent. That means the sides fit the surface very well. It won't wobble. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you liked like the insight and like all the woodwork stuff that they did. Um, just a bit of stories and a bit of zest. But so, yeah. If you wanna like and subscribe, all that stuff, <laughs> just yeah, comment down below. See if you like it. But um, yeah. Take care. See ya.